Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Garnet Tools. Today, I want to show you guys everything I picked up on Black Friday. I know this video is a little late, but I'm going to roll with it anyways. Black Friday is one of those few times of the year where products are universally discounted heavily. And while I did pick up some Black Friday deals, most of what I did get is sold every day at very low prices. So let's head over and see what we got. So the first item up is going to be these this pair of Carlisle wire strippers. It's going to be uh, part number WSCCP, and they are a pretty great pair of pliers. I thought I would just pick these up because these are like the closest you can get to uh, the snap-on version of these uh, wire strippers. Now they are made in Taiwan, but they're generally pretty good. They're going to work for wire gauges uh, 12 through 20. They're going to have uh, a gripping surface, a crimping, crimping portion for both bare and insulated wire, and also wire strippers and a cutter both above and below the pivot point. So that is uh, about it for that. They're a pretty good uh, pair of pliers. I, I like them. Uh, quite a bit I figure I add this to the collection of wire strippers I have to just have a better selection of wire strippers but I was able to pick these up for around I believe $33 now this item is something I was really excited about now I know what you're thinking cobalt very inexpensive brand cheap Chinese tools but this is a 12 piece 3h drive deep SAE impact socket set now the thing is, these are made in America, made in USA, because Lowe's, 20 years ago, 1998, they partnered with J.H. Williams to uh, create this brand. Now, that partnership lasted till about 2003, so like a five-year run of USA-made cobalt tools. And if you turn it around and look at the back, they are actually... Uh, 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 it actually says a uh, division of snap-on and even if you take a look at the socket it it even has some of the features that snap-on sockets have uh, many of the features snap-on sockets have so I was really excited about getting these they are uh, they feel really good they look really good and they're pretty much snap on sockets uh and the pricing on these things best part 26 bucks 26 dollars took this set home that's in a range of an actual cheap the socket set now this is new old stock and supply it is only while supplies last and of course they're guaranteed forever but only <laughs> if you take these back to Lowe's, you're not going to do too well. You're going to walk out with uh, the current, what they have currently. So, all right. Now, this next one is something I'm a little ashamed that I was not the first one to catch on to around here on the YouTubes. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much one of the few guys who are actually interested in Japanese tools. There, there's just some, some of those guys out there, but me especially as well as a few others but this is going to be the craftsman two-piece impact screwdriver set made in japan made by a company called vessel now i was originally interested in some vessel products specifically this one but since it was available as craftsman in sears i decided I, hey i'll go ahead and pick these up it's going to be a product number 986616 and these are impacting screwdrivers now what that means is when you use this thing it's got a mechanism inside and when you deliver a blow to the striking cap portion of them it will automatically turn like an impact driver 
So I thought that was pretty cool, cool. and these were only about $16, $17 for the set in Sears. So I it, it was one of those things you just you know you gotta you gotta pick it up you gotta buy it. Normally, uh, from Vessel through Vessel through uh, sources through Japan, these are normally seventeen dollars a piece. So seventeen for the set is a great deal. Now uh, it says it will move twelve degrees when you strike the cap of the screwdriver, but I've yet to see how these work as I haven't used them yet really extensively but I imagine they are pretty good screwdrivers it's uh, this gray here as well as the red here is going to be a rubber the black is a plastic on both screwdrivers and as you can see it's completely made in Japan but that's really all I have for this one it's a pretty great set Now this one is one I was super excited to find out that it was available in America. This is actually made by a company called Baco. And as you can see, they are a snap-on industrial brand out of SNA Europe. So I, I, I never knew that people actually care or, or uh, stores actually carried these in America. And soon as I came across it, I had to pick it up. Now. Uh, once I handled this thing, the, the, the precision in manufacturing is just immaculate. I mean, the action is just smooth. The surfaces are uh, just done so flawlessly. It, it's amazing. And it's, this rubber TPE grip is, is also very comfortable. My only wish is that I would have actually sprung for a larger one. This is going to be a product number 9070 US as this is most likely the US uh, model as it has both the SAE or standard fractional and metric measurements on it. It's going to be the 6 inch or 158 millimeter model. But I, I just love this thing. And I think I was able to get this for around 24 bucks, but you know what they say, buy once, cry once, right? You know, for a six inch <laughs> adjustable wrench. That may be a little pricey for some people, but definitely not for me. But that's pretty much it. That's all I have for this one. Now, the last thing I got on Black Friday, this one was actually at quite a discount. It's this PB Swiss ratcheting screwdriver, product number 6510R-30. I see many people enjoy using the Snap-on slash Williams ones, as well as the plethora of German ones, but I wanted something a little different. I didn't want to just go out and buy the same thing everyone else uses. No. I'm Garnet Tools. But of course, I go ahead and order this thing from Tool Lady at 30% off, making it about $70. And the damn thing is on back order until the middle of freaking February. It's got a really nice grip, storage that actually holds the bits. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to have to show you when it gets here. But that's it, that's all I have for you. I'll be sure to leave all the links I can find about everything I talked about in this video in the description down below. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So I actually forgot one. I forgot to mention that I picked this thing up at Home Depot for 20 bucks, maybe, maybe not. A little over, a little under. It's an East Est Wing. I don't know how people normally say that. I'm not really familiar with this brand, but I would say Est Wing. Est Wing, probably, probably how you say it, made in America. Um, I like. I like this thing because the uh, the head of it, it's a it's a ball peen hammer. If you if you couldn't get that, but I like this thing because the head is incorporated into the uh, pretty much all of the handle, and this part is molded around it, and it makes for a very uh, aesthetically appealing uh, hammer, really. I also like that they have uh, put a coating, some type of clear coat on it 
that it, it feels really nice it feels re like a really premium product and I like that now this handle is made out of a strange material I've never seen this uh, material on any other tool so if you're in Home Depot stop by and look at uh, S-Wing hammers like this because this this it I think it might be some type of nylon polymer type of deal but I'm not really sure I've never really seen this it reminds me of like I don't know like I want to say like paper combined with rubber <laughs> I don't know how that makes sense but like that's kind of what it reminds like cardboard and rubber is what, what, what it reminds me of it's it's so weird but it, it feels really good in the hand it's not like pure rubber or anything I mean it might be rubber I just may have never seen it nothing like this but that's pretty much it I mean uh, that's 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 it that's I don't maybe uh, I cannot uh, play the I, I don't know I'm I'm not gonna make you sit through the outro again have a good one peace if you're still here consider checking out my other reviews of quality hand tools